Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Mango Sex. I'm here today to bring you a review for 9 to 1 days episode number 10. We wave goodbye to Cortia. Unfortunately, within this episode, Cortia dies. Now, we start things off and I was a bit confused because we didn't start things off where we left off. I was like, is this a flashback? Yeah, I was like, yeah, I really did think it was a flashback because I only found it was a flash forward. And Avila helps Cortia get away to go back to where Avila was living in the very beginning of the series. And Cortia was basically supposed to stay there. He was supposed to hang out there to wait until the heat dies down. And then I think he was going to come back. I don't know, but yeah, something like that. But basically, he thought he was safe. He was safe. And then we find out. What's going on? So Hansa, I think his name was, he's the guy that sent him the letter. He, I don't really understand why he wants Nero dead, especially if he's related to him, but he's like, yeah, I want all the money, the views and the power for myself kind of thing. So he wanted, so he sent the letter. When the villain was talking to him, he's like, don't worry, like, I'm going to kill these guys, get me, I'm going to get my revenge. But you need to give me back Cortia. And Hansa was like, why should I do this for you? blah 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 kind of thing and he's like if you don't I've sent some I've given someone the letter and if they if I'm not back soon that letter's getting sent to Nero so he's gonna know you betrayed him. Hansa was like alright cool your boss your boss I feel like your boss you run the show you you do your thing I'll just watch from the shadows kind of thing so we have that Nero's friend the guy with the glasses he's getting a bit suspicious over a villa and Cortina, so he's doing his own research kind of thing, and he almost catches, he almost catches out over low by finding out that he um, could have possibly helped Cortio escape. This almost goes to plan, but Hanzo jumps in and tells Cortio to come back, and that's where we had the whole goodbye thing with Cortio sacrificing himself for Avila. The deep thing about this episode was, was we see how close Cortio was to Avila. We know that he calls him his brother. We know they're not blood related, but we see the extent of it because Cortia was actually willing to die just so Avila doesn't get found out and so he can possibly get his revenge within the future. So what, another deep thing about this episode is that Avila was made to kill him. Granted, this was so he can. Um, granted, this was so they can. Like Nero and them feel like they can trust Avila, but yeah, it was still it was still a beat to see. Now the one thing that Avila says in this episode, which was quite interesting, and it was at the very end where he goes to Cortia, he's talking to the courts of Cortia, and he's like, "I'm gonna join you soon." So we know that Avila has been planning this revenge for a long time, but I think that that's a like foreshadowing to the fact that. He, he's like he wants to like he's willing to die as well and that he's going to die at the end of the series but yeah deep episodes We've got some answers we just need you to know this fourth person i think yeah we need to know who the fourth person is because there's supposed to be four people involved within this murder but we don't know who the missing person is yet this is that silent guy but yeah, standard episodes, I'm going to give it a standard rating. Yay! Like always, guys, I must go for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please, guys, to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.